hello everyone welcome back so in the previous video we uh, designed our maze but uh, i completed the maze by creating some blockades over here as you can see so you can design your own maze and let's see in which state our game was so our pac-man was ready with opening and closing mode but we are unable to control this pac-man right so in this video i'll be um, i will be teaching uh, how to control this um, pac-man so let's quickly begin let's stop this for a moment okay so for movement we need to go to events we need to go to events in events under the events you'll find that you have an option that is when this key is pressed what should happen so if we are creating another event over here that's it so when this key is pressed say this is by default a uh, space let it be here so when key is pressed we should perform an action said so that is should move right so we need point in direction we are using point in direction here so we need to control this action in four 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 directions four directions that is we need to create four copies of it so let's quickly create four copies and we have our four copies so let's for forward movement we are selecting w you can select any up and down keys as well and for down movement backward movement or down movement i'm selecting s similarly for left i'm selecting d sorry a and for right i'm selecting d so w a s d is my configuration so so point in direction is 90 so for w we need forward so under the drop down menu you will see that 0 is for up so we'll place it 0 as we need it for down so down is 180 and a is we need a for left so left is given by minus 90 and d is for right right is given by 90 so let's check if we are able to means control as you can see we are able to control this so now we see it's only in one place so we need to move it continuously so for that let's create another event it's get when flag is clicked and we need to move it right so we need to move it forever so we need to happen it forever so we need a forever loop then we can go to motions and just simply drag and drop the move motion option let's move one step let's say so let's see now what happens so it's moving and we are able to control it so now the problem is that it goes through our walls it should not have be happening so what we can do is that we can have a restriction placed in this motion tab that is if this color red if it touches green so it should stop moving so in other words if it not touches red is net is not touching green then it should keep on moving so let's try pull this out and place an if block if then block so if then block the condition will be the color sensing right so we need a not because if it is not touching green then it should move so we need some sensing tools here so then sensing tools color this is touching this will work perfectly so the first color is that we i need it to be red so it's red now and it should not touch green so yes i think this will work okay so yeah yes it's working and our maze looks going towards it's going to complete so this is for today's video and please keep watching and i will post the update as soon as possible so in the next video we will be drawing these points that the bugs that the pac-man eats so till then thank you